Uh, now, here we drew a closed surface. This here stood for area. What are the units for area? Um, meters squared. That's what helps us to remember that we're drawing a surface. Mm -hmm. Now, dr here, what would be good units for r? Yeah, usually R is a measure of displacement or distance. Mm -hmm. So we're not drawing a surface here, we're drawing a closed loop. Here we're just drawing a loop or that encircles the current. So instead of saying enclosed, maybe I should say encircled. We draw a loop around the current, and if we draw it symmetrically, the magnetic field will be uniform everywhere, and you can take the B out of the integral. This circle here just means that we're taking this uh, integral over a closed loop. Remember, these are little distances along the loop, the Amperian loop. So what do you think would be the integral of all of these drs? Um, just r. But, yeah, which represents the circumference of the loop. Mm -hmm. So if you're drawing a circle, this would be 2 pi r. If you're drawing, you don't have to draw a circle, but if your Amperian loop is a circle, this would be 2 pi r. All right, um, and then you could use that to solve for B if you know the enclosed current. Okay. All right, um, we won't have time today to do um, full problems like that. Um, so instead, I just want to focus on the cookbook formulas from this. By far the most important case is the current from a long straight wire. The current from a long straight wire. So here's the cookbook formula for the current from a long straight wire. This can be proved from Ampere's law. In fact, we almost proved it just by talking a second ago. Mm -hmm. um, however, I think for an introductory class like this, you're generally going to be allowed just to look this up without proving it. Okay. Um, so we can just look this up, and this will give us the current from a long straight wire. I should make sure to emphasize this is the formula you use when you're using a source current. What's the formula you use for a test current? Well, that was F equals ILB sine theta. A very common student mistake is using the wrong formula for current. If you're focusing on the force on a test current, you use F equals ILB sine theta. But if you're focusing on the field from a source current, you use this formula. Unfortunately, in the textbook, they don't usually specify that this is for source currents, and this formula is for test currents. But we should always write down an S or a, or a, uh, or a not so we don't uh, lose track of that. What do you think R stands for in this formula? Yeah, that's not bad. Um, now remember that if we're just using this formula, we don't even have to think about a loop anymore. Okay. We proved this using the Ampyrean loop, but now we can just use this. So R here, maybe it's best not to think of this as radius, but just distance. So okay. R is just how far the point you're focusing on is from the wire. R is just how far the point is from the wire. Usually we're just going to focus on one-dimensional wires. If the wire was actually cylindrical, then this would be the distance of the point from the center of the wire. But usually we'll just focus on a, a thin wire that has no length. So R here is the distance between the point you're focusing on and the wire. By the way, if you get further from the wire, would you expect that to increase or decrease the magnetic field? just based on common sense. The further you are from the wire, well, the field is coming from the wire. So the further you are, the smaller the field should be. So should R go in the numerator or the denominator? Um, it should go in the denominator. Well, I already gave, the, the, gave that away by writing down this formula. But it should have been obvious that R goes in the denominator here to show there's an inverse relationship. On the other hand, it makes sense that I is in the numerator, because the bigger the current, the greater the field is supposed to be. Mm -hmm. All right, well, let's try to do this problem. Let's figure out the field at a point that's three meters away from this current carrying wire. This is a long wire. It's got a current of 4 amps. Okay. Um, I need a calculator for this.
Uh, let's see. So what do we plug in for mu zero? Uh, four times. Oh, four pi. I didn't right. see that. I'm sorry. I plugged that in wrong. Yeah. So what should we plug in for mu zero? Uh, four pi times ten to the seven. Good. And what do we plug in for i? Um, i is one. Right. Everything's in standard units, so I won't bother putting the units in. And in the denominator, we put. Right. Now, you could do this all in one step on your calculator. You just have to put new rate uh, parentheses around the top and the bottom to show it that it's all one numerator and all one denominator. So let's figure out what our current will be. Current. Um, yeah. And by the way, these are the only parentheses you need. So what's our answer? Two point six six times ten to the ninety seven. Oh, and this isn't the current. This is the magnetic field. Mm -hmm. What are the units on that? That's a magnetic field, so it would be Tesla. Yeah. And we have to figure out the direction as well. Right. So I is pointing up, um, and the point is to the right. So we position our fingers to the right. Uh -huh. And so you know that's going into the board. Because so our pads are pointing in. Okay. Very good. So the answer is it's a field of 2.67 times 10 to the negative 7 Tesla into the board. Okay, so like I said, um, for the most part, I don't think you need to worry too much about Ampere's law. Usually, you can just look up textbook uh, cookbook formulas. So here's the formula for a long straight wire. And also in the handout, there's a formula for a circular loop and for some other things that we didn't talk about, like a solenoid. But you might look up those formulas if you need them for the uh, homework. Okay, good. These videos are offered on a pay-what-you-like basis. You can pay for the use of the videos at my website. There's a link to my website in the info box. The address is www.freelance-teacher.com slash videos.htm. Or you can just use the link in the info box. Thank you.